These magicians are creative illusionists. They deceived everyone, and now they want to find them. Hello everyone, Dr. Fox is with you, and today I will tell you about the movie, Now You See Me. The illusionist magicians travel to different places and show fascinating tricks. One of them, Dan, was able to draw a map that the girl wished for. The other mayor, he can read minds. And the third one steals wallets very quickly and takes off his watch. The latter's name is Hanley. She staged a stunt where she was allegedly devoured by piranhas. This is the most dangerous show that people have seen. No one can reveal the secret of this trick. After the presentation, each participant received a letter with a mysterious address. The guys arrived at their destination and got to know each other, but the door was closed. Using slate of hand, Jack picked the lock. It was strange inside. This appeared from the floor, and then the drawings were displayed like a hologram. The guys put on a big show. They promised the audience to rob a large bank by inviting a random spectator from the audience. The magicians asked the name of the bank that the guy would like to rob. They put a helmet on his head and offered to choose a random card. Hamley throws a rag on the stage, and out of nowhere, a strange thing like a press appears in the hall. The guy got right into her, and then disappeared. The man teleported tens of thousands of kilometers away. Now he is in a bank where three million years are stored. The Frenchman threw down the card he had chosen, and then he pressed the button in with the help of an air pipe. All the money ended up right in the hall. The trick was noticed by the spy. Of course, they did not like such tricks. Agent Roots was assigned to investigate the case. The girl Alma from Interpol was given to him as an assistant, and the man does not really like her. During the interrogation of the viewer, it turned out that he was under hypnosis. So the man started playing an imaginary violin, and he could not give any normal information. Alma did not like Detective Roots working alone, and to keep her quiet, the detective agreed to cook for it with her. A new interrogation began. Detectives are questioning Merritt. The magician immediately started trolling them. Then he began to read the agent's minds. He said that his father abandoned Hoods as a child. It is Dan's turn. The guy does not worry at all. He jokingly answers all the questions. Hoods was so tired of his calmness. But he took off, but the guy put his handcuffs on him and the key turned out to be in a soda can. As a result, all the guys were released. Poots was informed that one man was sitting in the hall that evening, who was filming everything on camera. Therefore, there is a chance to prove the guilt of the magicians. At lunch with this man, by the way, his name is Tidish. It turns out that he actually exposes the greatest magicians. After that, their careers collapse, and no illusionist can find a normal job. After Tidish's conversation, the agents came to the place where the performance was. The old man asked Roots to put on a helmet, and then he started an incomprehensible machine. The most interesting thing has begun. Roots ended up under the floor, and it turned out that the bank is not really real. The room was built artificially long before the robbery. Tidish believes that the viewer was watched for a long time, and his choice was set up in advance. The magician stole the money from the collectors, and replaced it with self-destructing paper, which ended up in the real vault. Meanwhile, the girls were relaxing on the plane. They are getting ready for the big show that's going to be tomorrow. Dan says that it is too easy to read minds, and that you only need to know a couple of tricks. Mary replied, if it is that simple, try. Of course, the guy did not succeed. At the same time, Roots and Alma discussed that magicians are evil. They profit from gullible people, and their tricks are simple psychology. Arriving in the city where the upcoming show will be, the agents rented a place and began to develop a plan. Alma carried a book with her everywhere, where the secrets of the coolest tricks were kept. Since the guys started having problems, their manager Artreisler offered the old man three million dollars. If only the magicians would be left alone. But Tadesh is not chasing money. He refused him. The man promised that he would destroy the career of every illusionist. Their cheap tricks will be revealed, and they will prove to the world that these are ordinary scams. Five minutes before the start of the show, Tidish looked into the magician's dressing room. He promised not to film the exposure, but the guests did not believe it. Dan offered to make a card, and look for it in his pocket. And there was only this phrase in my pocket. The show begins. The magician started with a simple one, namely the disappearance of the rabbit. According to the classics, he was lying in a box, 
and then magically disappeared. Next, Merritt conducted a hypnosis session. When Jack hit the pencil with a card, the illusionists asked the audience to take out sheets of bank accounts, and incredibly, the numbers have become completely different. The team informed the people that they had been deceived. During the recent disaster, Arthur Tressler's insurance company refused to pay them money. As a result, the magicians did it, the spy is just furious, because they were cheated again, and the guests ran away, they had to get away from the police. Fruits had a fusion device with him. He ran out into the square, where there were many people. A bug was slipped into his pocket. The agent did not notice this, and was chasing himself. Omar almost detained Dan, but he ran right out from under his nose. At the end of the chase, the cops went to the wrong place, and the detective finally realized that all this time, he was not running after criminals, but after himself. The man was upset, and for this he got drunk to the point of losing his pulse in the bar. Alma tried to take him home, but he sent her. The girl did a trick with her hand that always works, and calmed this drunk. Meanwhile, those souls invited Arthur to drink. He asked him about his connection with the Asadniks. That's what they call themselves. The man did not crack. He replied, I do not know anything, and most likely, what you saw today, is just a warm-up before the most important show which promises to be very hot. Foods returned home after drinking. He noticed a strange book in Alma's possession, and began to study it. The girl woke up and told about a secret order that practices real magic. The agents realized that the scummers were somehow connected with it. The next day, the Fbu wanted to take the apartment of the magicians, but they found out about it and disappeared through a secret passage. The assault has begun. There is no one inside. There was only Jack, who was trying to cover his tracks. Ruff and his partner enter the apartment, and Jack, like a real Yakuza, jumps out in a muddle as is the man. Then the fight with Ruff began. Although the agent was good, he was powerless against Jack's training. The guy managed to escape. He stole a car on the street and took off. Rots and Alma started chasing him. This was observed by some journalists. Unfortunately, Jack lost control. His car overturned, and then caught fire. The cops tried to save him, but it did not work out. They only managed to pick up a piece of paper. The police found out that the paper they took out of the car was a dusher on the company, which hides $500 million from taxes. The cops think this is where the magician's next target is. They arrived at the place where the money should be, but there was nothing in the safe. It turns out that Mary worked on the agent, and he took the safe right into his hands. The agents arrived, and in this place, well, they were fooled again, there were ordinary balls in the safe. Meanwhile, the guys recorded a video on YouTube. They told about the place where the new show will be. The police began storming the place. Rots and Alma are also there, and the scammers went up to the roof using an elevator. The police are running to detain them, but they are just ordinary dolls. The real people were at the other end of the roof, and under the applause of the audience they were preparing to leave beautifully. Bears jump off the roof, and a lot of money appears instead of them. People are just delighted. Feelings began to arise between Rox and Emma, but they were stopped by an agent who showed the man that the bucks were not real. The real bangots were looted into Tidish's car, and now he's in big trouble. The magicians arrived in Central Park. Jack met them there, and it turns out that his death is part of a grand plan. They find a tree with a map inside, and stack their cards. Something strange happens, and then Rots appears. It turns out that he arranged the whole show. The man created the secret eye of the great magicians, where the best illusionists of the planet got to. The horsemen have been tested, and now they are part of this order. Jidush did not believe in these fairy tales, and it ruined him. The horsemen had fooled him, and now the man will regret it for the rest of his life that he could not reveal the secret of the main trick. Rots decided to confess everything to Alma. He told her about the order, and that he had planned the trick with the money. The girl, of course, was shocked, but she was not going to turn him into the police. As a sign of the end of this story, the guest symbolically closed the lock, and threw the key into the river. But who knows, maybe it is not the end. It is possible that the writers are preparing something grandiose, and this will show, it is just the beginning.